Hey Virgo, welcome back to the channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, please smash that like button and subscribe. If you enjoy the readings, personal reading link is in the description box below this video. If you um, would like to become a member of my channel, please consider joining. It is only $2.99 per month. You can join the Virgo gang and get some really cool emojis and yeah all that good stuff okay so let's get into this i'm going to take a look at like some really random energy and see what comes up in this reading for the rest of april um so whatever it might cover love career things like that um so let's get into this hello everyone in the chat hope you guys are doing well so you're starting with the ace of pentacles so there's definitely an energy in april of um, a new financial opportunity that will be coming to you or you're going to get some money okay so if you're struggling right now virgo are you just kind of wondering you know how you're going to pay bills or whatever you need to do or you've got like some money issues or you're just waiting for a bonus or or an increase in pay or something along those lines prosperity will be the word for the rest of this month prosperity so i definitely see that happening here there's definitely a new opportunity or career coming in so you might be getting an offer for a new job starting off in the month of april also there's this energy here of um negative thinking so be very careful with the things that you're thinking at this time um you may feel like you're feeling like you're trapped or you're just restricted from doing something or moving forward in a particular area of your life um hmm this is your ego <laughs> this is your ego um you're thinking too much or looking too inward too much inward you might be feeling that way like you're too overly focused on yourself right um and that might be causing this energy of being stuck or feeling like you're trapped in your thoughts right so i kind of feel like you might get an opportunity to get out of that by helping others or serving others in some way let me see what else is getting or coming to you here yeah i just kind of feel like you're you're trapped by your own thoughts or negative thinking um Let's see okay so hmm so i feel like your hard work virgo whatever you're working on at this time or you've put into practice something that you're working on is gonna pay off it's just gonna take time okay so i feel like you need to be a bit patient with yourself conserve your energy stick with your routine in april um be as efficient as you can don't overdo things to the point where you just burn out slow and steady wins the race that is the strongest message that i'm getting here um try to just do a little bit each day so that you can just keep building your uh, producing your productivity um whatever you're working on just you don't have to do it all in one day just a little bit each day i'm hearing and that will give you um it will be cumulative and you will be able to then start building more and more so that's a really strong message virgo that um <laughs> i just heard an apple a day keeps the doctor away so uh if you're doing something somebody may be doing something with their diet or changing their diet and so this is more of an energy of like not going cold turkey but just implementing more healthy choices adding more healthy choices into you know your diet or in your life um you don't have to I, they're saying you don't have to just quit something a hundred percent just kind of pace yourself um let go of something slowly or or add more things into your more healthy things into your life slowly bit by bit okay what else does virgo need to know okay so you're definitely going to be hitting rock bottom on something here also in april I feel like this is an energy of surrendering. You need to surrender something, Virgo. Give something up. Stop fighting for something. <clears throat> there's, there's, there's something here where you might feel defeated or just like 
you're exhausted um, or mentally drained and you just want to you just want to kind of collapse in your bed or or just chill or just relax i feel like that's okay it's time to surrender here (laughs) to something that maybe you are um overdoing you're fighting for something that i feel like right now you're trying to push something forward that's not meant to move forward yet at this time so i feel like the message here is to just let something go for now just leave something be don't stress Okay. All right. So you've got the hermit. So that's your energy. There's a lot of soul searching, uh, spending time alone in the rest of this month, being independent. I feel like there's something here that you need to take a look at as well that's deep within you um, and contemplate this for, for a little bit, not too, too long, but I do see like, you just want to be on your own in April. You don't really want to socialize too much with anyone or any people. You're just kind of keeping to yourself during this time period, shutting down a little bit. I don't really feel like you're isolating, but you are just keeping to yourself. Yeah. Maybe being a little selfish. Focusing on what you need to do for yourself at this time. So you may be going off the grid. You might be just kind of going off the radar, staying to yourself, not trying to be found, keeping yourself like in hermit mode. I'm just hearing, leave me alone. Don't bother me. Everybody leave me alone. (laughs) Maybe you're taking a vacation from your job or you're just, you know, you're you're just not talking to anybody. You're seeking some kind of enlightenment too while you're doing that. Okay. So you also have the Empress. So this might have a lot to do with like taking care of yourself as well. I see you taking like extra care of yourself, maybe um your body, your physical appearance you're um trying to reach some kind of accomplishment you're trying to evolve from something moving forward you're nurturing yourself maybe you're going into trying new makeup products or doing new hair this is all about the empress represents beauty and creation and the feminine um focusing on being a good parent a good grandparent a good aunt a good uncle you know um really staying more I, I'm feeling like a, a lot of it has to do with like the aesthetic so maybe you're getting ready for the summer some of you might be getting yourselves ready for the summer getting out of those house frau clothes and trying to slip on those summer shorts and really working on your aesthetic doing your hair going to the gym I really see you like you're looking amazing whatever you're doing I see you looking just like amazing in april starting to see results of whatever you are taking care of within yourself so if you've been working on yourself in the past like since maybe the start of the year the results are going to start showing people will be complimenting you telling you you look like you're glowing you you look like you've changed a bit you're a little different you look happier yeah so there's a lot of that really good nurturing energy okay and here you have temperance wow so also there's an energy here like you're gonna find meaning to something that you've been seeking maybe with that hermit energy you're gonna find meaning and purpose something's going to come to you in april where it's like oh this all makes sense everything kind of comes into balance i'm also seeing something here to do with music um a place where there's music or being involved in some type of musical thing whether you're singing or dancing um or if you are um like any any they were saying like like something like promoting okay maybe promoting or you could just be working in a play an environment or a place where there's music like as a bartender or host or a server or just going out to those places and enjoying music but i harmony is just like a really strong music energy here 
like tunes. I hear some of you are going to listen to or listen to a song. Somebody's going to send you a song and the lyrics are going to resonate for you. Like you're going to finally understand what that particular song means. It may be coming from someone in particular. Somebody sends you some lyrics and it's like, oh, like it's a little bit of a light bulb moment. <clears throat> Let's see, what else do you have happening? Okay, so you do have the three of swords. So there is some kind of an argument or a breakup happening also in April or some discord. Um, you might also be having surgery in April or discussing surgery in April. Could have something to do with the heart or the blood. Um, maybe you're just getting some needles or some tests or test results come back or something along those lines. There will be some information regarding that. And I do feel like there will be something showing up here. Um, may, there might be something on an EKG. You may, it's not like serious. Like I'm not saying you're going to have a heart attack or anything like that. Um, but I do feel like if you're going through this process of like taking care of yourself and your, your heart health and doing all that stuff, um, maybe you will start taking better care of your heart health as far as like eating or as far as like um, exercise and things like that. I mean, the diet is like 80% of everything. Um, so I do feel like there might be some kind of issue like that, but there also might be an argument of some sort happening between you and another person in April. If you're trying not to get into any arguments, there could be like something between friends or something comes up as well. Okay, so you also have the Ace of Wands. So there is like some kind of new project you're going to be inspired to get into in April. Um, there's a great new opportunity in beginning. You do have two Aces. So there is like new potential starting in the month of April. Um, this is also feeling very passionate and feeling very sexy and having that drive, that passionate, sexy drive as well. Um, where you, something like, <laughs> you're just going to be feeling really good, like having that passion. But I'm also picking up, some of you might be starting a garden or planting or doing something with a nursery that's going to produce mega growth. There's definitely an energy of new beginnings and feeling powerful. There's an urge to create. Somebody might be wanting, like you might be desiring to have a child as well. Um, you are another, uh, you are masculine or feminine. It's mostly a, a masculine energy. Now you also have the Knight of Cups. So there is a romantic offer coming in in uh, April could be from a Libra it could be from a Scorpio where there is um, like a proposal of some sort um, someone's following their heart Prince Charming energy here Prince or Princess um, romance there's romance so air or water there's romance in April so someone could be proposing or asking you on a date or being very romantic and affectionate, expressing their emotions and feelings towards you in this month. Okay, so now you have, oh, there's a lot of fantasy. So you might be up in your dreams a lot, <laughs> Virgo. Kind of in like this fantasy mode as well thinking like there's wishful thinking you have you're gonna have a lot of choices and a lot of options in april i mean even two is good so a lot of daydreaming i see you still searching for purpose what do you want to do with your career what do you want to do with like your life what are your passions what are your desires you're kind of like looking at all the things trying to like kind of how can i say this it's like you have some ideas or things that you want to do. Um, so, and, and they're just saying like some things that you have like kept to yourself that you really haven't shared with other people. You know, maybe you're that person who always wanted to like, I don't know, just 
it could be anything like be a ballerina or you or maybe you wanted to be own a fortune 500 company like things that you kept to yourself or you didn't share with other people because maybe you felt like you couldn't do it or maybe it's like too much of a um a fantasy but i feel like you're going to start taking a look at this stuff and really considering you know um, and really asking yourself, what is it you want to do? What do you want with your life? Do you want to be in a committed relationship? Do you, maybe you're changing your mind about that. You've got a lot of choices and options showing up here in April. So there's, there is something that is going to be very intriguing to you. Um, as far as your wishes and fantasies and dreams, here's the lovers. So you might be connecting with someone also. I mean, there's love showing up, coming in in April. You will be making a love match with someone. Uh, this could be someone that is just very mysterious to you and you don't really understand them. I also see contracts being signed, Virgo. Um, so, hmm. Something of value is what I'm hearing. Something of value is going to get signed. Like a deal will get brokered. Oh. There's also partnership too. So partnership can have a lot to do with just love as well. But I see you maybe going into business with someone. You could also be uh, connecting with someone on the romance front. And this feels like it might be a twin flame Oh, there's the page of pentacles. Okay. Some of you might be purchasing stock or crypto or investing or thinking about where to put your money as well. I'm also hearing someone may be getting into selling perfume. Someone also really has you on a pedestal, Virgo. Like they think the world, they're in awe of you. Yes, totally in awe of you. Like they hold you up really in like really high esteem. They, they very much desire you. Um, I'm also feeling like some of you are going to be paying a fitness trainer um, to help you with uh, your fitness as well like maybe you might even be thinking about getting into some type of fitness competition or getting back into that or looking to see if that's something you want to get into i'm also seeing someone may actually start becoming a fitness trainer looking to see how much that pays as well trying to get that information it's all kind of like up in the air a little bit so these are a lot of like thoughts and ideas as well i do feel like somebody's going to get a marriage proposal here in April also. And I think we said that with the engagement card last time too. So you now you have the page of wands. There's a couple of kids. Maybe you have two kids. Um, you're going to be spending a lot of time with in April. One of them might have a birthday in April. But I'm seeing like um, this really strong energy to go traveling or go exploring. Yeah, so it feels like there's this reading has a lot to do with tremendous amount of possibilities on the horizon. Like you're really taking some time to think about things. And I don't know, coming out of this winter hibernation and getting ready to get out there into the world and doing things that make you happy, feeling inspired and enthusiastic as well. I just saw the, the Knight of Wands. So that's movement, Virgo. So that, someone's going to be traveling a lot, maybe going over to, um, so they're saying like a, a sandy area where there's a lot of sand. <laughs> so either like a beach or somewhere in the Middle East, there's like a lot of spending a lot of time by the sand, in the sand. Or maybe there's children in a sandbox too. You might have grandkids. You're going to be playing in the sandbox with them as well in April. I'm also seeing um, some of you are really looking at your wealth and thinking because you come into some money. So there may be this like, well, should I... Should I get my face done? <laughs> Should I buy a new home? Should I purchase 
all this jewelry? You know, um, should I go out and attend all these shows? Some of you are going to, um, or someone connected to you is going to enter into the Olympics. I see that also. Um, yeah, it looks like this some money that you come into that comes to you, you're going to maybe you get your tax refund and it's hefty or some of you are just going to get like this huge amount of money and it's kind of like, oh, shit, what do I spend it on? <laughs> what am I going to spend this money on? What do I really want to buy? OK, let's see. OK, you've got the world. Wow. Yeah, Virgo, you've got a new chapter that you're starting in your life. You're finally coming into a place of where you feel like the past is over, or at least it's not triggering you or affecting you anymore. You're, you're on this path of like attaining your accomplishments and your goals, a lot of traveling, a lot. Um, some of you might be writing or publishing a book. In April, it gets a book gets published or thinking about starting writing a, a story or a book or something along those lines as well. Okay. Hmm. So you have the strength card. So, of course, strength is always about focus, courage. Some of you, your ADHD is like going away. <laughs> it's like not like you're able to focus i don't know if you're taking medicine um there might be a nurse that suggests or someone that suggests some type of medicine for you um to help you with something and it gives you very good focus you know or just kind of brings you back into alignment i'm also hearing like or if you started taking something like that you're really going to feel the strength of it or there'll be an increase in the strength that's going to start working for you I'm also seeing um, somebody working in dental, the dental field, or completing school, working in the like dental field, and working on patients. You might also be getting a tooth pulled. <laughs> There's you, Virgo. This is lovely. I love when you show up in your own readings. So nurturing, providing financially, a working parent. Um, it looks like you guys are going to be stable as far as finances go. Um, work is, you're not going to lose your job. Work is going to be steady. Money in the bank. Money's going to be good. Um, I, I like it. You're really showing up in your element here. Let me see what else. I just heard someone thinks you smell really, 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 really good. Like they can smell you. <laughs> Maybe it's a certain perfume you wear or uh, um, somebody gets a whiff of it and now they just smell it everywhere they go or they smell a certain perfume and they, it reminds them of you. If someone likes the color of your hair as well. Like they really, really like your hair. I'm also seeing there's a family party or picnic happening in April, a get together of some sort. This is going to be really fun, really nice. There's, I see kids, I, they're giving me like carnival energy, um, birthday parties, family joy, happiness, celebration, starting like kicking off in April. So you'll be attending some type of event like that. You might even be attending a wedding as well. Okay, so there you go. Some of you are leaving home. Like you are legit. Um, either, the, either you're leaving home or someone in your family is leaving home. Could be a child, maybe going off to school or leaving for the summer. Um, there's travel plans. Some of you are thinking about maybe relocating. I think we saw that before. There's a lot of planning about leaving home is what I'm hearing. So either you're doing that or another person that you're connected to, you're helping them with that. And you also have the Nine of Pentacles. So this is beautiful. Again, another Virgo card. So this is like the fruits of your labor, Virgo. Like you are not one of those rotten apples hanging, you know, from the bottom of the tree. <laughs> you know, you're at the top, Virgo, right? Here you are. There's the tree. You're at the top. You're the golden apple. I feel like you get your confidence like jacked up in April. I see you being like totally 
stable completely okay on your own yeah you have suitors yeah you have some type of romantic proposal coming in from someone but i feel like your energy is like just really good you're communicating with others but you're taking your time when it comes to um replying to other people because you don't feel like there's any kind of rush you know i'm looking at this bird and i feel like that bird is like a messenger and he sits there on her hand um, this is like a message that you receive from someone and you just kind of think about how you want to reply you're not rushing to reply to people because you're feeling very secure in april you also have the four of swords so here you are virgo totally recovering from maybe that three of swords or some kind of argument or, or a breakup or something that happens or just recovering from some kind of surgery as well so if you get something done in april i see you're recovering beautiful you might have a few maybe four days in the hospital or you might have four days at home where you have others taking care of you there might be like people from a church who are bringing you food meals and stuff like that but i do feel like you get into this very relaxed state you might be doing some yoga as well or um upping your meditation maybe you're gonna do like meditate four times a week start doing that kind of thing some of you might be going on a retreat as well in april there might also be an apology coming from someone and it could have something to do with that three of swords argument or a breakup there is an apology coming where you guys kind of like recover everything's good putting things like at peace I like the four of swords that's just and and the nine of nine of pentacles because that just screams to me total stability like you have total stability financial stability emotional stability all of that going on which is generally how you are and there you are with the yeah you got the magician some of you might be going to see a uh like a magic show I know that's so cliche, but in April, you might be going to a show where there's like a magician. That sounds like so much fun. Um, or seeing a performance. Now, some of you might also be performing as well. You get an opportunity to perform on stage. Maybe you're, you, you might be auditioning. I see you get an audition. If that's you, to be like up there on the stage doing an audition. Very good. Very nice. Some of you might be in a Shakespeare play too. This could be, uh, they're giving me like a very local play as well. So I see auditions happening for you if you're that person that does that kind of work. Um, or you may be going to some kind of convention or a show where there's a speaker. Um, it's going to be fascinating, really inspire you, give you a lot of um, ideas. Okay, there's another ace. So you got the ace of swords, and that's what I was talking about. Inspiration and ideas. Breakthrough, new ideas. You're definitely going to make... A, somebody's going to inspire you, okay, in April. And it's going to help you overcome... Like I feel like you might be a little stuck. And it's kind of like someone takes a sword and just sticks it in and just twists and it's almost like a key you know and things just kind of start coming to you everything just like the floodgates open clarity mental clarity some of you also after if you're having surgery um i do see like some type of communication about okay um, we're going to need to check your levels as we go forward, as you recover from something like your blood, like do labs. So I do see, um, I'm also, they just told me an arterial line or arterial stick. I don't know. I hope you're one of those people that doesn't mind needles. I'm not trying to scare you if you're that person that's like, no. Yeah. I also see you, um, some, you find, okay, that's funny. You find this really great pen, like a pen like i don't know what's so i don't know maybe it's like a 500 hundred dollar pen or somebody gifts you a very expensive pen something to do with writing it might even be a, a, you might find an old like an antique quill pen as well that is worth a lot of money yes an antique quill pen 
worth a lot of money. Okay, some of you are also going to be working as a phlebotomist, or you might already be working as a phlebotomist, or, um, or you just do something with sharps and needles as well. Um, if you're worried about losing your job, I don't see you're going to lose your job. You might change your job, though, as well. Okay, some of you are going back to school. Opportunity for school, yes. They're also giving me architect. Somebody's an architect or is going to be increasing their skills. Something to do with blueprints, building. Um, you'll be learning, collaborating with other people. So an opportunity for school is going to happen in April as well. There will definitely be money for you to go to school or for you to pay for somebody else to go to school or you and another person, like a co-parent as well um, are going to be helping a child with school in April maybe they're going to a new school or there's money a scholarship perhaps comes in okay now you got unified love yeah you're meeting a soulmate for sure in April definitely yes 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 some of you like I said there's a proposal marriage there's mutual attraction between you and another person um, if it's not marriage, it's just a higher level of commitment. This is like um, coming together and understanding. You're going to be on the same page, you and another person. Could be a cancer. But there's definitely, um, like, you. I see you sitting across from someone and you and this person. And this could be a friend. This could be romantic. Like, it could be platonic or romantic. Either way, you're going to meet someone in April where it's like, Am I talking to myself? Because you're just like me. Like there is a union that happens here. Now, is it new? It could be. You could be recon reconnecting with someone that after an, an argument, after an, an argument, why can't I talk? After an argument where something, um, you guys get back on the same page. Okay. What else do you have? Speaking of page. All right. You also have somebody who's like watching you, Virgo. Yes, yes, yes. They're spying spying online or looking you up online or doing a background check. Ew. Well, if it's for a job, then understandable. Um, someone's very restless. Very restless in April. Want to know what you're... They're very curious about you. They're also trying to figure out how they can talk to you. Like, find new ways to, re to get a hold of you. So I don't know what that means. If you're not available for someone to get a hold of you, they're looking for other ways to contact you. This could be an air sign. Doesn't have to be though. Looking for other ways to contact you. Wow. So the six of swords flipped out in the reverse. Definitely a personal transition, but a lot of resistance to change. There's some unfinished business. I feel like it's this person. If it's um, not a job, it's a, a person. They've, they're looking to talk to you because there's some unfinished vis business. It could be an Aquarius. Um, they don't want you to go. Or they're, they're, they're resistant to you leaving or you not being around for some reason. Um, yeah. I mean, generally, this card is all about coming out of the comfort zone. This person isn't quite out of it just yet to take that leap or actually make a move but i can tell you that uh somebody doesn't want you to go to, we still have to talk about something like this we've it's unfinished something's unfinished and somebody wants to discuss something with you all right let me get some of your messages of love okay so your message here is you can be completely vulnerable with a particular person you can be completely open with someone. So if you have someone on your mind or they feel like they want to be completely open with you. Okay. Chemistry. Yeah, that's what the two of cups is. There's chemistry. There's mutual attraction. You're going to feel chemistry with someone in April or before the month ends. 
and it could turn romantic. It could be friends. You also have release. So radical acceptance and surrender can help you let go of something, Virgo, which I feel like we were saying that in the beginning. Like you, you really, like you needed to surrender to something and not try to push something, not push a round peg into a square hole. If it doesn't fit, you must acquit, <laughs> right? So you also have forgiveness. Forgiving yourself or another will help you leave will help you move forward so surrender acceptance surrender and forgiveness is the way you get out is the way you release yourself from something in that order you also have trust so they're saying it's safe to trust in some situation you might be asking yourself if you can trust something they're saying it, it's safe to trust in in something Maybe it's trusting in yourself, Virgo. All right, one more. Anything? I think spirit doesn't want anything to come out. What's going on? You ever see that happen before? Come on. There we go. Here and now. Wow, Virgo. See, so your true love is already part of your life. And you might not have even met them. Or maybe you have and you just don't consider someone your true love. But there is someone. They're already in your periphery. They're already in your circle of influence. <laughs> so you might not, in your sphere of influence, you might not even realize it. All right, let's see what's Virgo's Chinese sign here for today. Chinese sign for Virgo. Okay, year of the snake, year of the dragon, year of the monkey, year of the ox. Pig was already out there. Year of the rooster, year of the pig again year of the monkey again year of the rat year of the rooster again and year of the goat okay so if any of those resonate for you this definitely qualifies as your reading but if not it's fine it's still your reading let's get some initials all right oh 1969 september 10th the letter s um, someone is 50. Letter S again. I'm hearing SOS. 1985, the letter H. I feel like I'm going to start putting these in a cup and just drop them all out of my cup because it's too hard to pick them up. Letter O. Ho, ho, ho. Fo, show. Um, somebody's a ho. <laughs> I'm just kidding. That's terrible. Um, my gosh, you get the letter H again. You have shh. Somebody says shh. Somebody says to you shh. Or quiet down. Or maybe you say that to somebody. Quiet down. September 22nd, the letter E. Someone is 43, 1987. Okay. Mm. Okay, the letter A. September 2nd. 1963, someone's 56. August 31st, someone is 37. Thank you guys for um, purchasing those coffees for me. I just forgot to tell you. Forgot to say thank you. Um, I know some of you have been buying coffee for me, so thank you so much. I'm super grateful for that. I'm just hearing AI. Somebody's learning AI. Uh, Mia, someone's name is Mia, and the letter M, someone's birthday is in April, that you know, that you're connected to, someone's significant, an April birthday. Okay, September 15th, someone, okay, we have the letter W, um, August 29th, someone's birthday is in January, and someone is 46. Someone lives in Hawaii, um, someone's in Hollandale. I don't even know. Never heard of it. Um, Michigan. Someone's in Michigan. Uh, someone's in Westchester. Ed, Ed, Edinsburg. Edinsburg. I just heard. Someone's in... Um, Ma is it Massachusetts? Someone's in Biloxi. Um, someone's in Ohio, Ohio. All right, we have Sagittarius, 
your significant other, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Pisces, and Leo. Okay, showing up here. And September 5th. Okay, let's get a charm. Let's see what you have here. What the hell's that? Oh, that's a big ass dragonfly. <laughs> oh, it's so pretty. It's almost like a um, steampunk dragonfly. Kind of reminds me of that. Like a, dra a steampunk dragonfly. Oh, somebody likes steampunk? Do you know what that is? Something to do with steampunk? Let's get another charm. Oh, here we have another mermaid. You had a mermaid the other the other day, so she's back. But oh, this is one sexy mermaid. Hold on a minute. You guys, <coughs> this mermaid. Some of you are going to uh, Okay, look. Is is she not gorgeous? Look. She has a very low-cut dress in the back. Do you have are you wearing a low you will be wearing a low-cut dress in the back? Some of you are going to be posing for some portraiture, some pictures in April. Hmm. That's really pretty. I love that. Uh, yeah. I, I also see someone sitting on a nude beach. Someone's going to be visiting or sitting on a nude beach. Yes, yes, yes. Or you're going to meet someone on a nude beach. Oh my gosh. This just... Oh, oh, I know what this is. Oh, yeah, they just said, watch out. Here's your, here's your warning. If you live somewhere on the ring of fire, keep your eyes peeled. <laughs> the, the ring of fire, I'm not seeing like a, a 9.5 earthquake. I just feel like it's going to be popping off. It's going to be hot, this ring of fire in April. Pay attention. If you pay attention to that kind of stuff, pay attention to that. Some of you are also going to see. Um, okay. And they're also saying, yes, pay attention to wildfires also. Um, now, I'm not really sure where, but they just, they're showing me, oh, that is so odd. They're showing me a wildfire in a desert area, like on the, I guess, I don't know, what is a desert? Sand? Wildfire where there's sand, like on the sand. I have no idea, or some kind of, so wildfire generally is attributed to like trees and brush, but I don't see any brush or trees. I just see like sand and fire on a beach or sand fire on this fire on the sand but it's remote so it's not anywhere where people live but it's going to be huge like a big fire where there's sand so i don't know something in april having to do with that something in april having to do with that my gosh if that comes true sometimes these predictions like okay they also said to show you this last charm and You've got a fork. <laughs> what is that? A dessert fork? I think it's a dessert fork. Um, some of you are like pushing the plate away, right? Um, <laughs> they just said, okay. They just said if you're if you're dieting, right? It's okay to have just one small little bit. I heard. Don't like kill yourself, right? Um, but also, some of you are going to come to a fork in the road in regards to a relationship in april which involves you and two other people yep so that's like a wildfire warning right there so pay attention to that you might have two suitors you might have two options or you might have two choices to make between two different people in april um let me give you an idea of what sign the two signs okay one is a scorpio and the other is a Taurus. All right, Leo. Um, Leo. Why did I say Leo? Okay, maybe a Leo. They're just giving me. So we're going to leave that there. I hope you enjoyed that little change up. I wanted to try to like hit all points of the reading. Just kind of give you a very general overall. 
So if you like that, if you want to get a reading with me where we just can look at like a general overall, not just love, if maybe you want to see what's coming up prediction wise and things like that, click the link. Hopefully that link is working. Um, I know Danny, I think sent me a message that my products aren't working on my website. He wasn't able to purchase the product. So, <clears throat> excuse me. Danny, I did get your message. Danny Becker, thank you so much for reaching out and letting me know. I will be checking that today to see what the heck is going on with that. It was working over here on my end, so maybe something happened. Um, also, I want to welcome Rocky Mills and Marge Romard Galvin. I think I met... I, welcomed you yesterday <laughs> or gavin galvin am i saying that right so thank you for becoming a member and uh yeah i hope you guys enjoy this reading and i will see you all back here tomorrow for your weekend reading take care love you bye hey you guys thank you so much for watching my readings if you'd like to get a personal reading please feel free to click the link in the description box below to go ahead and follow that link and book your reading please remember to book subscribe like do all the great things um, and I hope that you guys have a fantastic, blessed, loving, and light-filled life. Thank you. Bye.